Hi, my name is Daniel. I am a circus artist, but in the past few years I've gotten really interested in the artistic application of technology, and now I try to bring that to the stage. I created the Acrobot as part of the winter sessions here at V2, and it is a robot that I built myself, and together we do an acrobatic performance. So the Acrobot is a circus performance, so the, like, me and the robot are on stage and people sit around as an audience, just like I would normally do with a human partner, except that we have to completely rediscover um, our relationship together, our movement together, and we bring the audience along with this exploration that we do on stage. So bringing a humanoid robot on stage makes people often think of AI and artificial intelligence is a huge and complex topic that's very relevant to our society and world today. And um, yeah, it's, it's one way that I as an artist can engage in, with, this, with this topic and bring it to people uh, close by to experience what it's like to interact with a robot that seems to have a life and a character. But also my work questions what circus is. Like circus is about tricks and, and skill and hope and perseverance and do all of those things apply to a to a machine? Like what what, what happens if a if a robot jumps a backflip? Should we applaud this? Is this like a, a skill or do we do we find that to be odd or weird? And I want to see how people respond to that. These are kind of topics that I find interesting. So I get super excited by movement of physical body, but also of mechanics. And uh, now I can bring these together in one project because it's both my movement and the movement of a robot together. And uh, seeing this robot do the tricks that I have been practicing all my life, like it has done a backflip and I had to practice for years and this robot has learned it in minutes when it first was able to. And this is really exciting to me to see how that, how that works, how these movements relate, how I need to reanalyze those movements and re-understand them to see what they do. So I started super naive. I had no idea. I, was, I had three steps in my mind. I was going to buy a mannequin and install some motors and then do some performances together. And uh, now I'm a year further and I just built a second robot version uh, as part of the winter sessions. And slowly it's starting to get to work and I've learned so much about uh, engineering in the process. And that's really the, the big change for me I, that I've uh, hacked together so much and watched so many YouTube videos to be able to now say confidently that like, I can design and build a robot if I need to. As long as it doesn't need any real world utility, like it is still mostly a... Um, creative venture. And luckily I didn't need to do all of this by myself. I've had a little bit of a team. I was supported by Basti Kutz, an engineer who's helped me along, and Mila Bauman, who's helped me a lot with the acrobatics and performing. So being surrounded by the right minds has allowed this uh, project to come to fruition.